You might not have aced your degree or have been the top athlete at your school, but those aren't always things that make you a leader or what investors are looking for in their next startup or skills your boss is bothered by when considering promotions. So what are some of the things that give you an edge that don't require talent? Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Let's look into 15 things that require no talent, but will set you apart from the pack on your path to the top of the game. Number one, show up on time. The early bird gets the worm, the late bird gets under the boss's skin. So unless you have some phenomenal reason, don't be late. Plan accordingly and show up on time at the right place. Not being able to find the place is no longer a valid excuse. This is the 21st century and if you can't navigate your way around a Maps app or ask for directions, you probably won't be a top candidate for the opportunity. All it shows is poor planning and a lax attitude about other people's time. Number 2. Dress for the job you want Know what others in your industry wear for work and try to emulate the look. Sure, we get that when you first start out you might not have a perfectly tailored Armani suit, but that doesn't mean you can't appear neat and tidy. Cleanliness is next to godliness and if you aren't cleanly, not even God will want to sit next to you. So start with a great hygiene routine, it costs nothing more than a sloppy Joe does, and a snappy haircut and shave aren't expensive, but a valuable investment if you want to get into the big leagues. You don't have to douse yourself in expensive cologne, in fact, it's better if you don't because if the smell doesn't appeal to the intended audience, it counts against you. Make sure your outfit is clean and pressed and lay it out the night before so you can check you have matching socks, spot a missing button and have time to repair anything. Some needle and thread won't break the bank, but the impression of a well put together outfit can be priceless. Number 3. Positive energy is undeniably infectious. In the same way a bad temper can pass from person to person, the energy of positivity can spread like wildfire. Why do some meetings seem to fly by, decisions are made and ideas are never ending, and others drudge on and drain us? Often it's the energy of the leader or even an individual who sets the tone and lifts the energy level of the whole room. Next time you want to make a great impression, make sure your positive energy is in check. Once you start, it'll spread and you'll see how it empowers people right before your eyes. Be the positivity you want to see in the world. And if you don't always feel positive enough to exude positive energy, then maybe our video on creating your own luck will help. Number 4. Passion is a key ingredient for success. If you've seen a 4-year-old present a finger painting they did with complete passion and conviction, then you'll know that that passion requires no talent. Passion is a love and enthusiasm for what you're doing, no matter what the outcome. It's often seen in people who are very present, consumed by the moment and the task at hand. And while it doesn't mean the result is always a masterpiece, it is undeniably a trait that's admired and attracts people to you. Passion doesn't profess to have all the answers. Passion just shows people you have the belief and the drive to see the project through, and that's enough for many people to invest in. Passion is important, but it won't get you anywhere without one key ingredient. Stick around to find out what it is. Number 5. Being non-judgmental is the most powerful statement you can make. It can be popular to have a strong point of view of topics these days, but what's often forgotten is general kindness and understanding to all people and points of view. If you want to make it to the top, it's important to learn to adopt a non-judgmental approach because you never know who you might be doing business with next. Being open to all races, beliefs, genders, and so on will open up more doors for you than retweeting racial or bigoted stereotyping memes will ever do. Like the inspirational fallen MP Joe Cox said, we have more in common than that which divides us. Number 6. Work Ethic Having a great work ethic means you show integrity, you take your work seriously and produce great quality, you take responsibility, work as a team and show endurance. Work ethic shows your drive to get through challenges and level up. It takes no special skills or studying, and its value means everything to building your career. If you feel like you're not nailing at productivity, take a look at our video on improving your productivity for some tips. Number 7. Get an A for Effort 
If work ethic is your desire to maintain a standard of work delivery, then effort is how much hard work you put into achieving and maintaining that standard. Effort is the everyday display of your work ethics in practice. It's keeping at it until you achieve the results. It's going until the job is done. It's not settling before you get to the goal you set. The effort you put in is never a waste, so don't waste an opportunity by putting in less than 100% effort. Number 8. Make sure the first words you speak are positive ones. Once you get into the boardroom or make it to the audition or find yourself at a glitzy networking event, be sure your body language doesn't let you down. We are all speaking two languages, the words we say and the words we don't say via our body language. Your body language gives the first impression of your level of enthusiasm, your confidence. It even gives away your opinions and attitudes on the topic of conversation. Be sure your body language is conveying the attitudes and messages you want it to, or else your words won't matter as much. Number 9. Think of the extra mile as the first mile to advancing. Reciprocity is one of the most powerful tools you can use when working on advancing your career. The basic principle shows that people are more likely to extend generosity to you if you were generous first. The easiest way this is done in the work environment is by going the extra mile. It's when you're seen as being someone who doesn't settle for mediocrity and corner cutting that the others are less likely to offer the same kind of work or service to you. It's like a revolving door of persuasion if you get it right. And if you're thinking you don't have the time to go the extra mile, then perhaps you're working too hard and not smart enough. Take a look at this video for some inspiration. Number 10. Preparation is the holy grail of sounding intelligent. Another surefire, no talent required way to impress is to be prepared. If you're meeting ahead of a motor company, know their name, exact title, and a bit about their career path. All that requires is a little reading online, no qualification needed. If you're attending a networking event on water scarcity, do a little research before to get up to speed on some leading technologies or popular opinions on the topic. Then you'll have something to add or at least be able to follow the conversations you might find yourself in. Keeping on top of current affairs in your field will help you from sounding out of touch and can be the difference between getting an opportunity and losing it. Number 11. Half the battle is won by just showing up. Ever hear the saying, you can't win if you don't play? Well, you can't play if you don't show up. Many business leaders will tell you that their biggest breaks came from being in the right place at the right time. So it's important that you get out there and create opportunities to get yourself put in the game. Once you're in the game, be sure to show your preparedness, work ethic, effort, and go the extra mile. Number 12. Attitude is the key to the kingdom. On any given day, two people are having a similar experience. For one, it's the most exciting and exhilarating challenge of their life. For the other, it's a tragedy, the end of the line. Your attitude determines what you see, and winners know how to turn challenges into an advantage. Having a great attitude takes no special skill. It purely means seeing everything as an opportunity to overcome a challenge. Those with the never say die attitudes are the same people who make it to the top. Number 13. Change is as good as a holiday, so make your whole life a vacation. If you're not willing to learn, adapt, and change during your career, then you're destined to stay exactly where you currently are. Being an adaptable and teachable person is not likened to any intelligence or textbook knowledge. It's just having an open mind that you don't know everything. Staying open to the fact that anyone at any time could give you the greatest advice or teach you a new trick. Number 14. Pay attention to the details. Being aware of the elements in life that make up a bigger picture is what separates the good from the great. Most people could pull off the main event or figure out that a car is four wheels, an engine, and a body. But a car isn't just a car, and an event isn't just an event. It's the finer details, the lines, the frills, the perfect timing that takes something good and makes it the best. Understanding the details that matter in your industry and getting them right is what will set you apart, and it's not a lesson you'll learn in college. Number 15. The most underrated golden rule of them all. Listen. If you listen first, you won't be putting your foot in your mouth later. You won't go on a tirade voicing an unpopular opinion in a group you need to win over. It's also scientifically proven that you'll sound less stupid talking about a topic you know nothing about if you keep your mouth shut. Okay, we just made that one up, but you know what we mean. 
Listening is definitely an age-old technique of sounding less dumb, and it's a great way to make a good impression because, let's face it, most people love the sound of their own voice, and they'll like you a whole lot more if you smile, nod, and let them ramble on. So listen and be likable. All right, Alexers, what values do you think are priceless? Let us know in the comments. And for sticking with us until the end, what does that mean? Your bonus, of course. Here it is. Do what you say you're going to do. Nothing shows initiative and impresses people more than hearing you actually did the thing you said you would do. In a world of half-finished DIYs and half-started startups, it's remarkable when someone goes ahead and does what they said they were going to do. It builds people's trust, it shows your credibility, and proves you create your own momentum. It takes nothing but follow-through, but so few people are able to turn those words into action. Why don't you be the exception? Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.